Airbus Defence and Space is a division of Airbus responsible for defence and aerospace products and services. The division was formed in January 2014 during the corporate restructuring of European Aeronautic Defence and Space EADS, and comprises the former Airbus Military, Astrium, and Cassidian divisions. It is the world's second largest space company after Boeing and one of the top 10 defense companies in the world. Airbus Defense and Space has its corporate headquarters in Ottobrunn, Germany, and is led by Dirk Hoke, the chief executive officer. The company has four program lines, military aircraft led by Fernando Alonso, space systems led by Nicolas Chamussi, and communication intelligence security led by Evert Dudok, unmanned aerial systems led by Jana Rosenman. With its presence in 35 countries, the company employs 40,000 people from 86 nationalities and contributes to 21% of Airbus revenues. In 2017 Airbus ranked 94th on the Fortune Global 500 list, and was one of the "...world's most admired companies." History Topic Formation of EADS and expansion 1997 to 2008. As early as 1995 the German aerospace and defence company Daimler Chrysler Aerospace DASA and its British counterpart British Aerospace were said to be eager to create a transnational aerospace and defence company. The two companies envisaged including the French company Aerospatiale, the other major European aerospace company, but only after its privatisation. The first stage of this integration was seen as the transformation of Airbus from a consortium of British Aerospace, DASA, Aerospatiale and Construcciones Aeronauticas SA into an integrated company. However, the merger faltered, and British Aerospace abandoned the DASA merger in favour of purchasing its British rival, Marconi Electronic Systems, the electronics division of General Electric Company. The merger of British Aerospace and MES to form Base Systems was announced on 19 January 1999 and completed on 30 November. DASA and the Spanish aircraft company Construcciones Aeronauticas SA agreed to merge on the 11th of June 1999. On 14 October 1999 DASA agreed to merge with Aerospatiale Matra to create the European Aeronautic Defence and Space Company. The 10th of July 2000 was day one for the new company which became the world's second largest aerospace company after Boeing and the second largest European arms manufacturer after Bay Systems. In January 2001 Airbus Industry was transformed from an inherently inefficient consortium structure to a formal joint stock company, with legal and tax procedures being finalized on of July. On 16 June 2003 EADS acquired BAE's 25% share in Astrium, the satellite and space system manufacturer, to become the sole owner. EADS paid £84 million, however due to the loss-making status of the company Bay invested an equal amount for restructuring. It was subsequently renamed EADS Astrium, and had the divisions Astrium Satellites, Astrium Space Transportation and Astrium Services. On 1 July 2003 EADS Defense and Security Systems was founded with the merger of the Activities of Missile Systems LFK, Defense Electronics, Military Aircraft and Telecommunications of the EADS Group. 
Tom Enders became the first CEO of the new division. Airbus Military The predecessor company was established in January 1999 as the Airbus Military Company SAS to manage the Airbus A400M project, taking over from the Euroflag Consortium. In May 2003, the company was restructured as Airbus Military Sociedad Limitada AMSL prior to the execution of the production contract. The Military Transport Aircraft Division MTAD was a division of EADS which designs, manufactures and commercializes EADS CASA light and medium transport aircraft, and headquartered in Madrid, Spain. In 1999 was Construcciones Aeronauticas SA CASA in the EADS Group European Aeronautic Defence and Space Company Incorporated. In Spain it was still referred to as EADS CASA. The EADS CASA Division Military Transport Aircraft Division, MTA Division was also responsible for the development, production and sales of the Lycton and medium transport and utility aircraft within the EADS Group. On 16 December 2008, EADS announced that the Military Transport Aircraft Division MTA Division and Airbus Military SL AMSL as a new business unit in the Airbus SAS integrated, Airbus Military was formally created in April 2009 by the integration of the former Military Transport Aircraft Division MTAD and Airbus Military Sociedad Limitada AMSL into Airbus. The division manufactured tanker, transport and mission aircraft including Airbus A330 MRTT, Airbus A400M, CASA C212 Aviocar, CASA, IPTN CN-235 and EADS CASA C-295. After the merger, it also acquired the production of Eurofighter Typhoon, which was earlier under Cassidian. Eurocopter, which was earlier under Airbus Military, was reorganized as Airbus Helicopters. Topic Astrium Astrium was formed in 2000 by the merger of Matra Marconi Space itself formed from French and British companies with the space division of Daimler Chrysler Aerospace AG and Computadores Reeds e Ingenieria SA. Henceforth Astrium was a joint venture between EADS and Bay Systems. On 16 June 2003 the minority shareholder, Bay Systems, sold its 25% share to EADS, making EADS the sole shareholder. Astrium became EADS Astrium Satellites and in a wider restructuring became the major constituent of EADS Astrium, which also included EADS Astrium Space Transportation and EADS Astrium Services. In this restructuring the former Astrium Space Infrastructure Division merged with EADS Launchers and Vehicles Division to form EADS Space Transportation, which became later EADS Astrium Space Transportation. Also, Paradigm Secure Communications, initially created by Astrium in the frame of the Skynet 5 contract for the UK Ministry of Defence became the major constituent of EADS Space Services. Casa Espacio became part of EADS Astrium on 1 January 2004. EADS Astrium was the sole shareholder of Infoterra Limited.
On 1 July 2006, the French subsidiary of EADS Astrium, EADS Astrium SAS, merged with other French subsidiaries of EADS Space especially EADS Space Transportation. Topic Cassidy and EADS Defense and Security Systems was founded on 1 July 2003. In it, the activities of missile systems LFK Lenkflugkörpersystem A GmbH, defense electronics, military aircraft and telecommunications of the EADS group were merged. On 17 September 2010 the company name was changed to Cassidian, an amalgamation of the Latin words Cassida helmet and Meridian, and focused on worldwide protection and security. Cassidian was further subdivided into missiles, missile systems, defense electronics, defense electronics such as sensors, electronics and mission avionics, Cassidian air systems, production and maintenance of military aircraft, defense and communication systems, defense and communications systems and services, military service. In 2012 a new division was incorporated as Cassidy and Cyber Security GmbH, headquartered in Autobrunn. Topic post merger 2013 present Airbus Defence and Space was formed in 2013 as a result of the merger of Astrium, Cassidian, and the Airbus Military Divisions of European Aeronautic Defence and Space Company (EADS), which was itself reorganized as Airbus. On 1 January 2014, the parent company EADS was restructured as Airbus, comprising three subsidiary companies that include Airbus Defence and Space, Airbus, and Airbus Helicopters. On 16 September 2014, after a detailed and comprehensive portfolio assessment, Airbus Defence and Space defined space launchers and satellites, military aircraft, missiles and related systems and services as its future core businesses. Some business areas were identified as divestment candidates as they did not fit the strategic goals for the company. Under this plan, the commercial and para-public communication business including professional mobile radio and commercial satellite communications services activities was divested. Subsidiaries and JV including Fairchild Communications, Rostock System Technic, AVDEF, ESG and Atlas Electronic were divested. On 18 March 2016 the company decided to sell its defense electronics business defense electronics based in Ulm to Kohlberg Kravis Roberts, a global investment firm with a wide-ranging portfolio including Hospital Corporation of America, NXP Semiconductors, TDCAS, and Dollar General. From January 1, 2017, the group reorganized under the brand name of Airbus. The subsidiaries Airbus, Airbus Helicopters and Airbus Defense and Space became operating divisions of the same company. Organization Airbus Defence and Space is structured into three business lines Military Aircraft headed by Fernando Alonso is responsible for fighter aircraft, airlifters, aerial refueling tankers, and airborne warfare systems. Global Strike Mobility Surveillance and Engagement Missiles and unmanned airborne systems 
Space Systems, headed by Nicholas Chamusi, is responsible for space exploration, space launch system, missile defense, satellites, other networking services, and also the Orion Multipurpose Crew Vehicle Orion MPCV and space station programs. Information Solutions Strategic Missile and Defense Systems Network and Tactical Systems Space and Intelligence Systems Space Exploration Communications, Intelligence and Security headed by Evert Dudok is responsible for providing intelligence to various governmental agencies. Secure Communications Solutions for the Military, Government and Institutional Players and Users Airbus Cyber Security Airbus DS Communications, a North American public safety company Aircraft <inaudible> 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 Topic: Tankers and transport aircraft. Airbus A330 MRTT. The Airbus A330 multi-role tanker transport MRTT is an aerial refueling tanker aircraft based on the civilian Airbus A330. The A330 MRTT has been ordered by the Royal Australian Air Force RAAF, Royal Air Force RAF, United Arab Emirates Air Force, Royal Saudi Air Force and Republic of Singapore Air Force. The EADS, Northrop Grumman KC-45 was a version of the A330 MRTT proposed for the United States Air Force. Airbus A400M Atlas The Airbus A400M Atlas is a multinational, four-engine turboprop military transport aircraft. It was designed by Airbus Military now Airbus Defence and Space as a tactical airlifter with strategic capabilities to replace older transport aircraft, such as the Transall C-160 and the Lockheed C-130 Hercules. The A400M is positioned, in terms of size, between the C-130 and the C-17, it can carry heavier loads than the C-130, while able to use rough landing strips. Along with the transport role, the A400M can perform aerial refueling and medical evacuation when fitted with appropriate equipment. CASA C-212 Aviocarth CASA C-212 Aviocar is a turboprop-powered stole medium transport aircraft designed and built by CASA in Spain for civil and military use. C-212s are also produced under license in Indonesia by Indonesian Aerospace EA, formerly called IPTN. The design was initially marketed under the name of Aviocar, but EADS CASA no longer uses that name in referring to the C-212. CASA, IPTN CN-235 the CASA, IPTN CN-235 is a medium-range twin-engine transport aircraft that was jointly developed by Construcciones Aeronauticas SA CASA of Spain and Indonesian manufacturer IPTN, as a regional airliner and military transport. Its primary military roles include maritime patrol, surveillance, and air transport. Its largest user is Turkey which has 59 aircraft. EADS CASA C-295 
The EADS CASA C-295 is a twin turboprop tactical military transport aircraft, and is currently manufactured by Airbus Defence and Space in Spain. Topic: <laughs> Fighter and attack aircraft. Eurofighter Typhoon. The Eurofighter Typhoon is a twin-engine, canard delta-wing, multirole fighter. The Typhoon was designed and is manufactured by a consortium of Alenia Airmachi, Airbus and Base Systems that conducts the majority of the project through a joint holding company, Eurofighter Jagdflugzeug GmbH formed in 1986. NATO Eurofighter and Tornado Management Agency manages the project and is the prime customer. New Generation Fighter – Eurofighter Replacement <laughs> Unmanned aerial vehicles Tracker is a short-range mini UAS, UAV with two low-noise electric engines, and can be operated by a two-man team. This fully automatic unmanned aircraft can be deployed in all weather conditions, flat terrain, mountainous areas or urban environments. Barracuda is a multi-sensor system, designed as a demonstrator for test missions such as fast reconnaissance, surveillance, targeting and battle damage assessment, and is used as a test bed for the technologies and procedures for future aerial systems. European Hail RPAS is a long-endurance aerial drone system designed for surveillance, reconnaissance and target acquisition. The main purpose of the European UAS is to provide wide area ground and maritime surveillance along with reconnaissance of specific areas to assist commanders in the theatre of operations. Eurohawk was based on the RQ-4B Block 20, 30 40th and was to be equipped with an Airbus Defence and Space built SIGINT package. It was intended to fulfil Germany's requirement to replace their ageing Dassault. Brigade Atlantique electronic surveillance aircraft of the Marineflieger German naval air arm. The EADS sensor package is composed of six wing-mounted pods, reportedly these sensor pods could potentially be used on other platforms, including manned aircraft. DVF-2000 VT is a short-range mini UAS, UAV with a low-noise electric motor. It is an unmanned aircraft especially suited for maritime and land surveillance. KZO is a tactical UAS with a powerful two-stroke gasoline engine. It is an unmanned aircraft especially suited for high-speed reconnaissance missions. The gathered information is immediately available and can quickly be distributed in the command structure. Harfang is a medium altitude long endurance UAS for joint armed forces. It can fulfill a wide range of missions, from surveillance to sensitive peacekeeping. Harfang provides real-time information at each level of the operational chain and can be controlled either manually from the ground control station or autonomously. Atlante is a tactical unmanned aerial system that ensures intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance missions by day and night for ground forces deployed in theater. Topic. Experimental aircraft Zephyr is a series of lightweight solar-powered UAV originally designed and built in 2003 by the British company Kinetic. The development of the aircraft is ongoing and currently part of the Airbus High Altitude Pseudo-Satellite program. Topic. Ballistic missiles 
In May 2016, Airbus and Safran agreed that their joint venture would work on upgrading the M51 submarine launched ballistic missile to the M51.3 standard for the French Navy. Topic: <laughs> Space Systems. Topic Launchers Ariane is a series of a European civilian expendable launch vehicles for space launch operated from 1973 onwards. It is a collaboration between France, Germany and the UK. The Ariane project was code-named L3S the French abbreviation for Third Generation Substitution Launcher. The European Space Agency ESA charged the EADS subsidiary Astrium, presently Airbus Defence and Space, with the development of all Ariane launchers and of the testing facilities, while Ariane Space, a 32.5% CNES commercial subsidiary created in 1980, handles production, operations and marketing. Ariane Space launches Ariane rockets from the Guiana Space Center at Kourou in French Guiana. Ariane 5 completed its 74th consecutive successful mission in October 2016. The newest iteration Ariane 6 is under development with a first test flight scheduled for 2020. Topic. International Space Station Automated Transfer Vehicle, originally Ariane Transfer Vehicle or ATV, was an expendable cargo spacecraft developed by the European Space Agency ESA. ATVs supplied the International Space Station ISS with propellant, water, air, payloads, and experiments. ATVs also reboosted the station into a higher orbit. Columbus is a science laboratory that is part of the International Space Station and is the largest single contribution to the ISS made by the European Space Agency The functional architecture including software of the lab was designed by Airbus Defence and Space in Bremen, Germany where it was also integrated before being flown to the Kennedy Space Center KSC in Florida in an Airbus Beluga. It was launched aboard Space Shuttle Atlantis on 7 February 2008 on flight STS-122. Space transportation The Orion Service Module is the service module component of the Orion spacecraft, serving as its primary power and propulsion component until it is discarded at the end of each mission. In January 2013, NASA announced that the European Space Agency ESA will construct the service module for Exploration Mission 1, replacing the previous design. Based on ESA's Automated Transfer Vehicle ATV, the new design is also known as the European Service Module ESM. The service module supports the crew module from launch through separation prior to re-entry. It provides in-space propulsion capability for orbital transfer, attitude control, and high-altitude ascent aborts. It provides the water and oxygen needed for a habitable environment, generates and stores electrical power, and maintains the temperature of the vehicle's systems and components. This module can also transport unpressurized cargo and scientific payloads. <laughs> <laughs> 
Topic: <laughs> Astronomy and Cosmology Missions. Euclid developed jointly with Thales Alenia Space as a space mission currently under development by the European Space Agency ESA. The objective of Euclid is to better understand dark energy and dark matter by accurately measuring the acceleration of the universe. To achieve this, the spacecraft will measure the redshift of galaxies at varying distances from Earth and investigate the relationship between distance and redshift. Lisa Pathfinder, formerly Small Missions for Advanced Research in Technology 2, Smart 2, is an ESA spacecraft that was launched on the 3rd of December 2015. The mission will test technologies needed for the Evolved Laser Interferometer Space Antenna ELISA, an ESA gravitational wave observatory planned to be launched in 2034. The scientific phase started on 8 March 2016 and will last six months. Gaia is a space observatory of the European Space Agency ESA designed for astrometry. The mission aims to construct the largest and most precise 3D space catalogue ever made and totaling approximately 1 billion astronomical objects, mainly stars but also planets, comets, asteroids and quasars among others. Topic. Solar observation missions Solar Orbiter Solo is a planned sun-observing satellite, under development by the European Space Agency ESA. The mission will be launched with an Atlas V from the Cape Canaveral AFS in Florida in October 2018. SOLO is intended to perform detailed measurements of the inner heliosphere and nascent solar wind, and perform close observations of the polar regions of the Sun, which is difficult to do from Earth, both serving to answer the question how does the Sun create and control the heliosphere? The Solar Orbiter will make observations of the Sun from an eccentric orbit moving as close as approximately 60 solar radii RS, or 0.284 astronomical units o, placing it inside Mercury's perihelion of 0.3075 astronomical units and providing it with the closest ever views of the Sun. <laughs> Planetary science missions The ExoMars rover is a planned robotic Mars rover, part of the international ExoMars program led by the European Space Agency and the Russian Roscosmos State Corporation. The plan calls for a Russian launch vehicle, an ESA carrier module and a Russian lander that will deploy the rover to Mars surface. The ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, launched in 2016, will operate as the rover's data relay satellite. The spacecraft is scheduled to launch in July 2020. BepiColombo is a joint mission of the European Space Agency (ESA) and the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency (JAXA) to the planet Mercury. The mission comprises two satellites which were launched together, the Mercury Planetary Orbiter MPO and the Mercury Magnetospheric Orbiter MMO. The mission will perform a comprehensive study on Mercury, including its magnetic field, magnetosphere, interior structure and surface. The launch on an Ariane 5 took place on 20 October 2018. 
The mission was approved in February 2007 as part of the Cosmic Vision Program. Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer Juice is a planned European Space Agency (ESA) spacecraft designed by Airbus Defence and Space to visit the Jovian system, focused on studying three of Jupiter's Galilean moons: Ganymede, Callisto, and Europa, excluding the more volcanically active I. It will characterize these three worlds, all of which are thought to have significant bodies of liquid water beneath their surfaces, making them potentially habitable environments. The selection of this mission for the L-1 launch slot of ESA's Cosmic Vision Science Program was announced on 2 May 2012. Venus Express was the first Venus exploration mission of the European Space Agency ESA. Launched in November 2005, it arrived at Venus in April 2006 and began continuously sending back science data from its polar orbit around Venus. Equipped with seven scientific instruments, the main objective of the mission was the long-term observation of the Venusian atmosphere. The observation over such long periods of time had never been done in previous missions to Venus, and was key to a better understanding of the atmospheric dynamics. Mars Express is a space exploration mission being conducted by the European Space Agency (ESA). The Mars Express mission is exploring the planet Mars, and is the first planetary mission attempted by the agency. Rosetta was a space probe built by the European Space Agency launched on 2 March 2004. Along with Philae, its lander module, Rosetta performed a detailed study of Comet 67P Churyumov Gerasimenko 67P. During its journey to the comet, the spacecraft flew by Mars and the asteroids 21 Lutetia and 2867 Steins. <laughs> Earth observation satellites Airbus Defence and Space is the world's largest supplier of Earth observation systems with more than 50 satellites launched and 18 more under construction. Terrasar X Ing, a next generation development based on the Terrasar X mission. Astrobus L, a platform suited for high performance Earth observation satellites such as the Pleiades twin satellites and the Spot satellite system. Express, low cost synthetic aperture radar SAR satellite system particularly suitable for surveillance applications in a constellation concept. Astrobus S, Earth observation satellites for very high resolution VHR applications. Astrobus XS, modernized and enhanced version of the very successful Myriadi based satellite family. Some of the major satellite systems built are Invisit, the world's largest civilian Earth observation satellite, Earth explorers such as GOCE, GRACE, SWARM, EarthCare, Sentinel missions, METOP, and METOP SG. Topic. Telecommunication satellites Airbus Defence and Space has manufactured over a hundred communications satellites for a vast range of applications for clients from all over the world. Eurostar, used for a series of spacecraft providing telecommunications services in geosynchronous orbit. Geo. 
More than 70 Eurostar satellites have been ordered to date, of which more than 55 have been successfully launched since October 1990 and have proven highly reliable in operational service. In December 2013, the Eurostar satellites accumulated 500 years of successful operations in orbit. The Eurostar spacecraft series is designed for a variety of telecommunications needs including fixed services and broadcast, mobile services, broadband and secured communications. Some of the major telecommunication satellites built are Alphabus, the Eutelsat series, the Astra series, the Hispasat series, the Inmarsat series, and the UK military Skynet series. Topic: Spaceplane. Airbus Defence and Space Spaceplane is a suborbital spaceplane concept for carrying space tourists, proposed by Airbus Defence and Space. A full-size mock-up was officially unveiled in Paris, France, on 13 June 2007, and is now on display in the Concorde Hall of the Musée de l'Air et de l'Espace. The project is the first space tourism entry by a major aerospace contractor. <laughs> Rocket engines. Airbus Defence and Space also produces commercial versions of its proprietary rocket engines such as HM7B, Estes, Vinci, Vulcane. Topic: <laughs> 1 Atlas Airbus Defence and Space launched One Atlas in October 2016, a new satellite image base map which covers the Earth landmasses with professional grade imagery. The images available via Google Drive can be accessed around the clock, and are refreshed within a 12 month period. One Atlas was developed to bring demonstrable value to clients planning defense or security missions and operations, for example assisting the mapping, reporting and updating of positions, movements or risk areas, but also providing valuable intelligence when selecting transportation routes and access points. Sites Major European Airbus Defence and Space sites are located in Germany, Backnang, Berlin, Bremen, Amenstad am Bodensee, Jena, Kiel, Koblenz, Köln, Lampoldshausen, Manching, Ottobrunn, Oberkochen, Potsdam, Rostock, Sulzbach, Taunus, Trauen, Wetzlar, Ulm and Unterschleiheim. In France, Elincourt, Velizy, Les Mureaux, Bordeaux, Toulouse and Kourou in French Guiana. In the United Kingdom, Newport, Portsmouth and Stevenage. In Spain, Getafe, Madrid and Sevilla. In Italy, Rome and Potenza. In Netherlands, Leiden. In South Africa, Irene. Topic see also Boeing Defense, Space and Security Lockheed Martin Space Systems Northrop Grumman Raytheon Thales Alenia Space, 